Yo, what's going on boys? This is Job here. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Red Hot Panthers. That is right. They are currently on a twelve game winning streak. The Panthers. Who saw that coming? I didn't think the Panthers would make the playoffs this year, but they are on a twelve game winning streak currently. They currently lead the Atlantic division with fifty six points. Um closest team is the Red Wings with five points behind. That's crazy. They're um fourth place in the NHL. Capitals have about eleven more points than the Eastern Conference, but their run right now is pretty historic. I, th I think that might be their longest win streak in franchise history. Um, all their players stepping up, like Yamir Yager, the ageless GOAT. <laughs> Lad is 31 points, 39 games. It's 15 goals. He's having... He, 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 it's hard to explain how, how much Yamir Yager affects the, this team. Um, uh, what's uh, Roberto Lulongo is doing kind of a crazy year, too. Not a crazy year, but he's having a really good year for the Florida Panthers. Uh... Didn't expect that out of him. He's getting a little older. He's still doing good. Um, they have a really solid decor, led by Aaron Ackblad and a bunch of young players. And they have Billy Mitchell, more of a veteran leadership. But they have a lot of young forwards like Vincent Trocek, Riley Smith, Brandon Peary, Derek McKenzie, um, UC Yokin's a veteran, Huberto, Dave Bolin's a veteran, Bajukstad, and then Barkov. Barkov is doing has a, is having a fantastic year. Same with. Jonathan Huberto, he's having a fantastic year, and I don't think I th I think the Florida Panthers are going to win the Atlantic Division, that, and unless they start slowing down and get some injuries, which is possible, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, their streak right now is pretty historic, and I think they're going to continue it, um, especially if they if they keep getting their goaltending from Roberto Luongo and their defense, and if they can score goals, they're set. Like I don't know what their upcoming schedule looks like. Uh, I'm recording this on Monday, January 11th, and they play the Vancouver Canucks tonight. That should be a pretty should be a pretty good game, and um, the race will the race will definitely heat up for the Atlantic Division. But if the Panthers keep winning, they're not, no one's going to catch them. It's impossible. Um, I didn't see them having twenty six wins, and they went on a twelve game win streak. I think before they went the win streak, they might have been third in the division or in the wild card spot. But last time they were in the playoffs, against the one against New Jersey, that was first round. I'm gonna shock them, which is crazy. So I think with the Leadership the Panthers have in like Willie Mitchell, Yammer Yager, UC Jokinen, Boland. They can lead those younger Panthers like Akblad, Huberto, Barkoff, all to good things, you know. They t they'll teach them how to play in the playoffs. They obviously know how to play in the regular season. And um, that's about it. I'm talking about the Florida Panthers. Um, they're just having a fantastic year so far. Really happy for them. They haven't had a good year in a while. So have a good day, boys. Peace. Always remember. Good job. Catch you later, lads.